Here's my setup. Starting off for the tarp, this is a War Bonnet Superfly. And this thing is awesome. Uh, as you can see, it's raining. It's been raining all afternoon. It's about 40 degrees out. And, uh, but this thing is, is doing a great job. I love it. And I have it set up in fourth mode. So there's one trekking pole. Here's the other. Now, if you are looking at rain, you really want to offset your trekking poles. So this one is the highest that it can go at 54 inches. This one, I actually use my trekking poles at 42 inches. So that's what I have. The reason being is you can see the water all gathering down to this end and then go, going down the trekking pole. If you don't do that, this whole area in the middle is just gonna fill up with water. So you need somewhere for that water to go other than making a pool. Also, the water's gonna go down the trekking pole. Just like why you use a drip line on your uh, suspension. Because the water's gonna go down that line. So it's going down the pole, and bam, I have a pot that I put at the bottom to collect rainwater. So when this fills up, which it only takes about 10 minutes to fill up or so, I'll actually go put it in my water filtration bag. So just a, a little hint, you know, way to collect water when uh, it's raining. Does it very quickly. Uh, this is the 20D Sil Poly. Uh, it's the green, I forget what, what type of green they call it, but it's the green. Um, I like it a lot. I like the color. I think it blends in well. And so that is the uh, the tarp. Here's the back side that is actually tied down to the ground. So it's just doing a great job for suspension of my hammock and tarp. Starting off with the hammock. I use a uh, one inch strap that I got from Harbor Freight. I think these are from their cam buckle straps. Uh, I forget. You need to wash their straps because some of them are actually really thin and others are thicker. So I use the Marlin Spike Hitch. Uh, just find a twig from the ground. I know some people use uh, the carbon fiber um, arrow shafts and I'm around trees to hang my hammock. There's always twigs. It's never failed me. Here is the, um, oh wow, I'm pulling a blank. My whoopee sling, but it's made out of the, um, <laughs> yeah. I forget what those are made out of. Um, I'll have to come back to that. <laughs> but for my, uh, my tarp, I use a continual ridge line. This is 1.7 Zingit, which fits great with the Dutchware, as you can see the Dutch uh, Wasp here. So the 1.7 Zingit, nice and cheap. And Am Steel. <laughs> That's what I use for my whoopies, Am Steel. So, um, sorry. So, using the uh, the, the Dutch gear just makes it so quick. The rain was coming in earlier and I needed to set up quick and just the continual ridge line worked great for me. I think I have about 35, 36 foot of line of the Zingit total. And that works out great for me. I do use the snakeskin um, method. This is just a, a dollar uh, scrunchie that I took apart. Some people use them, other people hate them. Um, I like them, they're cheap. They, uh, they last uh, a little bit. You know, when they start getting ripped, I throw it away and I get a new one. So, all right, here's the backside of the tarp. And, on this end, I actually have the Dutch clip 
right there works great and then again here this is actually my bag water uh, filtration bag that I use this is just a um, and I know people knock on this all the time but it works great for me it's a five liter outdoor products uh, that you get from Walmart it's the dry bag make sure you get the dry bag and um, what I've done is I have the Hydro Blue water filter uh, that I got from Amazon. This thing's 20 bucks. But the thing I like about it is it comes with this fitting here. So it has uh, uh, silicone O-rings here. All I did is I cut a hole in the bag. I don't do it at the very bottom because by having it up a little bit, uh, it allows the larger sediment to, to fall to the bottom. But cut a little hole, put this on there, and it's a really nice lightweight uh, water filtration bag. And I'll just be putting my uh, the water from the pot in this for tonight. Then I don't have to worry about going down to the creek. Going inside. Sorry for the clutterness, but uh, just trying to keep everything uh, dry. So my hammock is a 11 and a half foot DIY hammock. It's just made out of ripstop that my wife got from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, my wife made this. I just told her what I wanted and she nervously made it thinking I was gonna fall to the ground and I've used this numerous times. Um, she did the, uh, the triple stitching at the end. Um, it's great. Dude cost about 20 bucks to put this together for the hammock. My underquilt. Hammock gear. Econ 20 underquilt. Um, and I, I really like, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but uh, on the hammock gear underquilts, they actually, they have this shelf here. And, you know, it just brings it closer to your legs under the hammock because uh, your your butt's heavy so it's gonna hang low and then here you know your legs are light so uh, it's just a it's awesome it really is uh, going inside I have the hammock gear incubator 20 uh, econ incubator 20 and again it's awesome uh, you know if, if you want a just awesome quilts for you know great price these are about a hundred fifty 50 about, uh, each. Actually, the top quilt I have sewn, so I think it's 165. But if you do the snap foot box, it's uh, 150. And then, last thing is, I got this off Amazon. It's a inflatable pillow. Um, Nature Hike. Man, that thing was like 11 bucks. And I like it a lot. It fills up very quickly. The thing I like is when I'm in my hammock, all I gotta do is I push on this button just a little bit and it lets the air out so I can put it right where I like it. Because I never have it fully inflated. Actually, it's almost all the way deflated. But, you know, it's just, it's a nice pillow. It packs down, man, it's so small. So, that's my setup. You know, coming back to the pot, you know, when I started this video, that was halfway full, now it's overflowing. So I don't know how long it's been done, but that's just a, uh, how I, that's how I hang. <laughs> Sorry.